What's happening guys? I'm Curtis and you're watching Left Foot First. Today is a, uh, oh, before we get started today, I gotta show you something. Look at all the room for activities. We got so much space back. We took the motorcycles that were here and hauled them off to Justin's place. So now we got some room to kind of push the car this way a little bit and get a little bit of walking around space. All right, now that's out of the way. Today, we're going to do the transmission mount. Uh, we, got the, we got all the materials, we should be good to go. Once we get that done, the motor will be three-point mounted and won't move. And then we can continue on and the, all our dimensions will be right. So let's, uh, let's show you what we're gonna do. All right, this is gonna be kind of difficult to see or to show on camera. Here's the transmission cross member bolt holes from the old cross member. Here is a frame cross member that we're gonna use. And we're gonna take this bushing and kind of make a mount that comes off of the transmission and holds this bushing. And we'll build two little tabs that come off of this cross member here that will bolt through that'll hold everything together. Uh, the bolt's gonna have to come out through like an access plate in the tunnel, but that's gonna be kind of the easiest way to do it. So let's grab some steel. First step in this trans mount is I got some pipe and we need to make a, a sleeve that these, these bushing halves will fit into and that'll allow us, then we can weld onto that sleeve and slide the bushings into it. Uh, the motor mounts came with the sleeves, but because these are uh, control arm bushings and they're made to go into a control arm, they didn't come with it. So we have to build our own. So I got a piece of pipe, I went out and bought a lathe, let's make a bushing sleeve. Sleeve turned out pretty good, so that's gonna mount right in there. So now we need to cut a piece of plate that'll fit on the bottom of here that we can weld this onto. Justin stopped by, gave me a hand. We got this all built up. Justin also learned how to TIG weld a little bit, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, let's uh, throw our bushes in there and then build the plates for the chassis side mounts. All right, that's basically what we need our little tabs to look like. So we'll cut a couple of them out of steel. Just that easy, we got our two brackets. We use the old uh, weld them together and then grind them at the same time so that they're the exact same. And with any luck, these will just bolt right on and we can weld them up. Let's go give them a shot.
All right, guys, it's the next morning. Uh, me and Kyle got into the beers a little bit last night, and I forgot to film an outro, so here I am. Uh, we got a lot done yesterday. I apologize that the, the episode is probably pretty choppy, but it gets tough to film when you got guys in here helping you. So, Justin stopped by in the morning, gave me a hand to build the, the plate that bolts onto the transmission. And then Kyle stopped by in the afternoon and he gave me a hand to do the, uh, the chassis side mounts. So, it was awesome. Those guys, if I hadn't had them around, it would have taken me probably two weeks to, to do what we did here uh, in a day. So, that was good. Um, yeah, so now the motor is, is fully suspended. We got a, a proper trans mount, we got proper engine mounts. There's no more blocks of wood holding the thing up, so that's nice. Um, kind of puts me in a position though where I don't really know what I'm going to do next week. Maybe we'll show you guys the, the big stockpile of shiny parts I got just off camera. Maybe not. I don't know. Tune in next week to find out.